Kevin Durant shuts down Suns trade rumors. So there was some rumors swirling around that he was going to get traded. So I'm going to react to an article by Fadeaway Walls. So yeah, they have been producing like one of the best articles. So they came up with this one. I just said, let me just look at it. So the speculation for his, you know, trade rumors came about by the whole uh, Bradley Beal absence and, you know, the reason as to why the Suns got Bradley Beal was to like place them in a place where they can be able to like contend for a championship. But given like the shortcomings that they've had this season, Kevin Durant is not that happy because he has to carry the load majority of the time. So it was quite a saying, I don't want to get traded. I'm not frustrated because Brad was injured. I wasn't frustrated because of the role players on the team. That ish really was ignorant to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we lose a game. You think I'm supposed to be happy after we lose a game? You know what I'm saying? I'm not frustrated with the whole situation. I may be frustrated at the moment at a bad play or at a tough stretch. But now nah, I enjoy the grind. So that's what KD said. And honestly, if you ask me, I really don't understand Kevin Durant at all. Because this is the same rhetoric that he was saying when the Brooklyn Nets were struggling. Because this time they were losing bad and he was on the roster. And he took a shot. He took shots at his fellow teammates. And that time we didn't have Kyrie because of the whole vaccine mandate. And he was pretty much saying the same thing. And on that part, when he said, I, I enjoy the grind, I really beg to differ. Because I don't think KD is a person who likes the grind. Because if he did, he would have stayed in, stayed in OKC. And if he did... Even if he made that move to Golden State, he would have made sure that he'd worked in Brooklyn, but he didn't. So that's actually, <laughs> I, I feel like that's a lie. So, so the the whole situation with the Suns is just quite amazing. So speaking exclusively with Fox Sports after the Suns' loss to the LA Clippers, Durant vehemently refuted claims of unhappiness and clarified his stance. So Durant expressed his frustration with the misinterpretation of certain information and incidents emphasizing his desire not to be traded so he dismissed the notion that frustration stemmed from a single game of the team's performance emphasizing his commitment to the grind and enjoying the, and enjoying the process so kd through the years he has been one of those guys that had the whole offensive package he had all the tools to be a great player but his mentality and decision making were not the best uh, through that stretch and you're just seeing that because after he made that move to OK to Golden State from OKC he was able to win back-to-back -back titles in the 2019 he tore his Achilles with the Warriors in the 2019 finals I believe it was game 5 where he scored 11 points he played the shortest time scored 11 points then tore his Achilles then he, st he stayed up one year, 2019-2020, when he was at the Brooklyn Nets, he didn't play. 2020-2021, he came in. That time, um, Kyrie, that vaccine mandate, he was not able to like play in there. So it was actually quite, it was quite crazy. And that's the time they got James Harden. So KD, majority of the time when he goes to other teams outside Golden State, Golden State these are the teams like Brooklyn and right now he's in Phoenix. He has really, really struggled to be able to put himself in a position to be able to like contend for a championship. You could see there's a stark difference between uh, LeBron James and KD in this sense. You could see LeBron when he left the Cleveland Cavaliers to go to the Miami Heat. He brought along uh, Chris Bosh. D Wade was already there. He was able to like create uh, something there that was able to last for four years. Went to four finals one two of them then when he went back to cleveland he was able to get Kyrie to be able to play good basketball he was able to get kevin love through a trade and pretty sure the cleveland Cavaliers orchestrated that trade with they traded away andrew wiggins and he was able to create a situation where he was winning even after he left the cleveland cavaliers when he went to the lakers he made sure to like uh he stayed one year didn't do didn't make the playoffs then that trade for Anthony Davis and he got his the player that he wanted got some good quality role players around that duo and he was able to like get that team to the championship so 
the thing is nba fans want to see kd do the same thing i know a lot of people are not saying that and i know a lot of even espn or first take are not going to mention that but the thing that i've seen with majority of fans nba media they just want to see kd do that and he'll get that same respect as lebron james i know lebron doesn't get as much respect like that but if you look at like his career you cannot deny his resume but a lot of people put a lot of uh, emphasis on kd and put a lot of asterisks on kd when they see what he has been able to do outside the go the golden state warriors the two championships that he won so there's always a problem with kd and nba fans have never uh, been able to like let that thing go every time that he makes the playoffs and he chokes and something happens like let's say in the 2021 playoffs when they lost to the bucks majority of the people said you know he can't carry a team and those those uh premise and those opinions really weigh on kd because if it did if they didn't he wouldn't be replying on people's twitter twitter accounts so that's the thing that i saw then when it comes to the whole situation where he was with brooklyn like at the end uh, uh, when they got swept you saw that whole conundrum when he requested a trade in the off season he rescinded the trade that time he made it public then in the trade deadline he requested the trade to the management he didn't go public with it then he got traded to the suns together with kyrie so you could see uh like him get tra- getting traded him failing when it comes to like brooklyn and right now with the suns as you see in front of your eyes is getting a lot of scrutiny right now and a lot of people are not um sympathizing with him at all and these rings that he won with golden state they don't carry a lot of weight like that they're not people will take kevin durant's two rings and put them below yanis and the compo 21 2021 championship and put them below Dark Nowitzki's 2011 championship. I feel like Giannis and Dark Nowitzki's rings rank higher. According to the fans, the, the vast majority of people will put those rings over KD's rings in Golden State because he had to go and join the unanimous, unanimous MVP and the best 3 and D guard in the league and also the best defensive player of the year at that time. So that he can be able to go back to back and win a championship. So people cannot like legitimize his championships like that. So that's how it has been. And right now he's feeling the same thing because a lot of people are laughing at LeBron James in 2018 when he was with the Cavs and people laughed at him. He was the lone star on the team. He was trying to like muscle his team to the finals. After all the playoffs I've seen LeBron James play even if they got swept in the finals that is the best playoffs run I've seen of LeBron James we've not seen a classic LeBron I've never seen a classic playoffs like that and that's the same thing we're not seeing a classic uh, KD playoff run or KD stretch in games so that's the thing that is being put to question so yeah I mean he has been a guy who has run away from the grind a lot. I, I, he is one of my favorite players, but honestly, his Phoenix Suns stint is not the greatest. Bradley Beal has not looked the same since the, <laughs> since playing for the Washington Wizards. Since like the way he has just been injury prone, Devin Booker. I don't know, man. He's he's just up and down. After uh, Luka Doncic dismantled him mentally in the 2022 playoffs, I don't think Luka. I don't think um, Devin Booker is the same at all. So it's a tall order for KD right now. It's it's just sad. And him coming out and said that he's shutting out the trade rumors. I know he's just trying to put some water on it just to, you know, put it away because it's just going to be a bad look. You know, a lot of teams like a lot of players like uh, put this uh, hold on to such sentiments and try to, you know, prove them wrong and try to show that this is not what is going on so i'm pretty sure that's the reason that's why he came out with this statement and i don't know what team uh, kid is gonna swipe right to because if it doesn't work in phoenix where where will it work i'm not sure man so you tell me what you think in the comment section down below so um yeah man i'm out peace